Hey fellow Star Wars citizens, Scrapchat here. Since I've been in the PTU, uh, I've been running a lot of salvage. Thanks to the, to the uh, stability of the PTU up until recently, I haven't been very successful in making it back to the local TDDs to sell my RCM. Now though, the PTU seems a lot more stable, so hopefully we'll make it back for this episode. Today I want to show you uh, the ins and outs of running a salvage operation with a, with a Drake Vulture. If you are familiar with Quantanium Mining with the Prospector, the process will seem very familiar. Alright, so I'm uh, I'm actually over here on Lorville, uh, and I thought we would uh, start from here. So, um, a couple things before you actually do take off though, before you leave with your Vulture. I like to throw a little food and water in it, um, because the last thing you want to do is be out somewhere in the verse and then have to turn around because suddenly you're thirsty. So definitely, you know, make sure to throw in like one, one bottle of water and, and one of those, uh, one of those uh, food bars, you know, just in case. The other thing you want to make sure you bring with you is a multi-tool with a tractor beam. Uh, it's not a huge deal if you if you forget to bring one. Uh, when when we first started doing salvage, uh, we didn't have the ability to actually fabricate a tractor beam uh, and multi-tool, but now we can. So, which is huge. That's, that's great because I always forget mine. Uh, being able to fabricate one on the spot is awesome, but it will cost you because it, it takes like 1.2 SCU of RCM just to make one, uh, you know, one uh, uh, multi tool with a tractor beam attachment. So, you kind of have to keep that in mind, but you know, if you're stuck out there without it, it's, it's I would do that over flying all the way back to buy a new one. All right, so let's go ahead and get our vulture. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vulture, vulture, vulture. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Awesome. Please visit us again. Your vehicle. So, like I said earlier, um. Salvaging is a lot like, I'm finding is a lot like um, Quantanium Mining. Uh, at least in, in regards to how you find salvageable uh, ships out in the verse. Uh, if, I actually made a video, it's probably one of my first ones, on... Um, shoot, where are we going? Nine. One of my first videos was on how to... Um, Kind of mine with the uh, with the prospector, and the process for searching for quaternium is actually identical to searching for salvage. <laughs> so, uh, uh -oh. what's going on? Something's banging around. Hmm. Anywho. Everything looks good back here. Nobody else got on. Real quick, let's just check our supplies. So, yep, so see I have five waters and five of these little nutrition bars, just in case. I'm sure I'll need them. And sometimes when I've gone out, I don't come back for, you know, days, basically. Oh, look, there they are. <laughs> They're bouncing around. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, I mean, I, it, well, I mean, my days, I guess. It, if, if I need to stop in the middle of something, um, yeah, I'll certainly, uh, I'll certainly log out and log back in later. Yeah, bed log out. But yeah, I, I definitely have had to stop and have a drink in the middle of, uh, salvage operations. Landing complete. Okay, that's strange. Mm, 
door's not opening. Best take off. Thank you, and please visit again. So we're going to be flying out of her L2 for this run. So I'll set a course from there. first. Yeah, see, I'm already getting hungry. <laughs> I haven't even left. Quantum drive is now on. Quantum drive is now off. Quantum drive is now on. Quantum drive is now off. All right, so here we are at her L2. And let me just shut this down for a minute. I don't know if we're going to see any. We'll get a little closer. I don't know if we'll see any. Uh, Signs of salvageable, salvageable material out there. But, uh, oh yeah, I saw some just now. Um, even though I think it's, I think it's tempting to do all your salvaging right here by you know the station. It's not a good idea. I, I've I've been trying that. Or I tried that initially, and I'm telling you, you're gonna get you're gonna get griefed, and it'll happen while you're in the back shuffling your. Uh, your uh, SU boxes around <laughs> because that's what happened to me um, so I really think your best option is to treat this just like I, like I said quantanium mining uh, and what I do for when I go quantanium mining in the belt thank you here. and please visit again ha yeah see there's some salad drill stuff out there that's nice but you know what we don't want to get picked on we want people to live as learn so what I do, let me pull up my, I have a little chart here that I use for deciding on where I need to go to go salvage or in, before salvage find quantanium. And it's this website um, called Seastone, Cornerstone? It's called Cornerstone. I'll leave a link 
uh, with this with this uh, URL in there for you. But basically, if you come here, it shows you um, each each refinery location and where you have to go in order to uh, find decent quantanium. But for our, for our purposes, it's going to be for finding salvageable material. So we are flying out of her L2 right here. So we're going to go towards Arc L4. So what we'll do is we'll set a course for Arc L4 and we'll quantum to it. And we're going to try and stop when we see this number uh, that we're this far away from Arc L4. Um, that's band one. I'm not going to bother with going into any of the deeper bands. But uh, and I don't know if that even applies to salvage or not. I don't know. Um, I've only been doing band one. I've been lazy. I'm doing band one. And I can usually fill up pretty quickly. Unless I get unless I get really unlucky and I hit a dry spot, because you have to go find it. It's not it's not like when you're hanging out here at uh, her L two and it, you know you're tripping over uh, uh, salvageable material. You actually do have to search for it. So anyway, I'm going to set course for Arc L four and we're going to stop it. Try and stop our close stop as close as we can to this location. All right, back to the ship. Arc L4, where are you? There we are. There we go. So we're not actually going to go there. We're going to stop short of there. Anyway, here we go. All right. If I press B, it doesn't always stop, and you really need to kind of try and stop as close as you can to the number that we were just I was just showing you. So I'm probably going to cut power, too. I'll try B, and if that doesn't work, I'm cutting power right behind it. All right, here we go. Quantum drive is now on. So, yeah, I had to shut the, shut the power down to the... Uh, pressing B did not turn off my uh, quantum drive. Like I said, you really kind of kind of need to be on the mark as much as close as you can. Your systems are online. Oh wow, that's pretty close. We are supposed to be at uh, nine three nine seven, and we're at nine three two nine. So that's pretty good. Um. Check that again. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. So after that, what I do is I, I set a course then back to wherever it is I'm going to be selling my my goods when I'm done. Which in this case, I'm going to go back to Hurston. So I'll set a route for that. There we go. And we're going to use that as our as our north star. Basically, this is going to be to keep us from going in circles because it is very easy to just, you know, go scan something. Oh, this is not good. Okay, maybe we won't do, <laughs> we won't do Hurston. Let's do, I mean, we could just continue with Arc L4. I don't like having the sun in front of me. Obviously, yeah, let's do Arc L4. And then we'll just reset. Reset when we're done. But you need to pick a point somewhere. It really doesn't matter where. I just, like I said, it's just convenience setting it to where you're going to end up selling your stuff. There we go. And boy, does it look empty. I am not seeing anything. How can this be? Okay, so I had to make a few little course corrections there. I had to do a little jump back and forth to get the, the right location, but I think we're where we need to be now. I'm only off by about a thousand kilometers, so that should be pretty good. So I pointed us at Arc L4 because pointing us back to Hurston um, basically put the sun right in our eyes. I didn't want to do that, so 
Anyway, um, so our North Star actually is going to be Arc L4, which is fine. As long as we always have one location, uh, uh, basically a point in space that we're continuously driving towards. Because otherwise what you're going to end up doing is just going in circles, looking at things. So basically the process works like this. We're going to, um, we're going to do a little scanning. So I'm going to uh, press V to turn my scan on. Go to scan mode. And I'm going to flip it up to 180 degrees. I don't want to look, I don't want to see behind myself. I want to, I only want to be looking forward. So do a little tab. And see if we have a couple of things we can look at here. Um, and anything beyond 11 kilometers you can't scan. So I think we can probably do that one without moving. So then what you got to do is you got to start narrowing your your focus down. I drop it down to like around 11 and then scan again. Because it's going to shift. See, it's going to shift like that. And come down again, scan. It's going to shift again. Now we're down to two. So I'll do a just a scan like that and or click like that. And now you can see it's probably going to be a, a just a rock because it's only a single little item out there. But I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, which will cause it to scan. And yeah, E-type rock. Who cares? So then we just go back and we start all over again, do the same thing. Back up to 180, do another scan from this point. And the only hard part is you got to remember what you just looked at. <laughs> so we already looked at that 11.4K one. Um, is there something over here? No, there's one down there. But let's go after these 13 kilometer ones. And we'll start driving out towards them. I'll even narrow down my focus here to like 45. That'll probably keep them in. And once we get within 11, we'll be able to look at them more closely. All right, that's good. So, this we'll swing over to this one first. Oh, we got three. Good, good, good. Okay. Knock it down like five degrees. Scan. Adjust. Okay, now to and scan. Hold on the left mouse button and see what we got. Oh, we got a rock. <laughs> All right, back out to like 45. That should get the other two. All right, get this guy. Oh, okay. This is probably us, maybe, hopefully. Down to two, pick one. Yep, that's us. Awesome. So there you go. So we just found our first salvageable uh, field of debris. Um, we didn't even go very far. I mean, we'll need more than one to fill this vulture up. But that's basically the process. Um, if, if this turned out to be a big nothing burger, I just go back here and I would drive for like 30 seconds, you know, at, at you know whatever speed you want to do, but enough that gets you past everything you just uh, looked at, and then I put it up back back out to 180. I'd scan, and then I would just start picking at things that uh, that I think are potential targets. I hope I didn't just lose those guys. Where'd they go? There we are. All right, so I'm gonna flip off back to, and I'll reduce my speed a little bit because we're, actually it'll tell me how far we are. Here we are. So now we just fly on over. That's basically how I used to do my uh, search for Quantanium. Because <laughs> you, you, like I said, you don't want to be looking behind you. So you're always doing a 180 degree sweep and you're always moving forward to a specific point so you don't accidentally go in circles. All right, there they are. Let's see if we're... 
Why does it think the filler station is obstructed? Ugh. Let's go look. It's always something in the Star Citizen. Oh great, I just stubbed my toe. Okay. Open. Thank you. You have left it. What is going on? What am I doing? <laughs> Get up. Alright. Is there something in there? Oh, maybe that might be from that might be from the last. Huh. Okay. It must be from the last time when I was uh, out uh, out salvaging. All right, whatever. I'll move it. I assume that whatever was in here got sold with everything else. I guess it doesn't. That kind of stinks. There we go. Clicks right to the uh, right to the grid. Um, and you can do uh, uh, twelve plus one here um, for thirteen. I think is what I was doing. I uh, when we get this thing full, you'll see. If you try if you try putting crates outside of the grid, they start bouncing around and making a mess. And just I don't want to. I have I don't want to take the chance of you know damaging. Either the ship or causing a problem or whatever, so I just let the grid hold all the uh, SCU crates. Alright, so back to work. Why this door doesn't. Oh, that's better. Okay. So we just pick something in the field. We have a lot to choose from. This is just little bits and pieces. This is not uh, full ships. We'll just find that there'll also be a better chance of them being... Uh, uh, you'll see they have like a green outline. Uh, usually when I find a full ship, it's like yellow. If I'm lucky. See, that's green. That's green. I don't arrange that bit. Alright, let me just flip on the press M for mining. Oop, duh, it was on. <laughs> um Yeah, let me just pick a spot and start. I I've been actually I've been using the a braid scraper module. So to change modules, just right click on your mouse, or yeah, right click on your mouse, and then left click to start the laser. Now as you can see, it changes color. It went from green to blue, and then I think it goes to yellow, and then finally red. That's just an indication of how much material is left on the on the salvageable material. Okay. I also like to stop when it's full. <laughs> you can keep going, but I don't trust that what I'm doing is transferred into the next container, so I stop. It's quite a bit, actually. This is a pretty big chunk. Oops. And there we go. And now it's obstructed, so we gotta go move the.
move the boxes around. I'm telling you this is great. We're out in the middle of nowhere. No one's going to bother us. We can just do our thing. And, uh... You know... No griefers going to come along. Let me check the other one. Checked. Continue. Continue on. We climb up the ladder. That's a problem. There we go. My laser not turning on. Hmm. Okay. That's very strange. There we go. I don't know why we need to wait. difficult though to recognize where I've I can't tell by looking at this thing what I've already done <laughs> yeah I mean it's still blue which means there's quite a bit left to salvage off the thing but I can't see it I mean I have to look at those two the two indicators for how much material is being pulled up but... I couldn't tell you Flip around. Yeah. Hit it from this side. Lights really don't seem to help either. I keep turning the lights on thinking that I'll see better, but I don't. So. And you see it's now turning yellow, so there's less material for us to for us to snag. But this one easily will do. What do we do? I think we're going to do like four containers easy. Moving the uh, containers around. If we fill this thing up, that's like 100 grand, 100k in credits, so that's not a bad deal. Considering nobody's shooting at us, <laughs> we can take our time. Like Quantanium, when I was doing Quantanium, it was a mad dash to get back to that uh, refinery. You know? This, eh, doesn't matter. 
I mean, the only the biggest downside is you have to go to a, a TDD to sell it. So, for instance, right now we're doing Vulture. It's not so bad flying back to to Hurston, to Lorville. But let me tell you, if you try flying a Reclaimer in, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing that next. I'm going to do a video on on soloing with the uh, Reclaimer. That is crazy talk. I mean, that's just insane. All right, so keep going after this guy until he turns red. Maybe I'll get one more box out of him. Let's see. Well, we have a lot of pieces floating around out here. I don't think they're going to be this big, but... That's pretty good. Hard to tell. I mean, you have to look at the little indicators, I guess, but I really wish I could see you know, where I've been. Why are you not turning red? I don't have any of you. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's good. I think we're going to move on to the next piece. Oops, why did I close the mining tool? I don't know. That's not a... That one's close. Nice and green. go rearrange. I think I need to. And I seen I, this is another bug I noticed in uh get in here I'll show you. Look at my back. I bet you. Oh no it's not now. I it's like my EVA function turns on sometimes and it like pushes me down or whatever down the the ladder. I don't know. It's real pain. Kind of hoping we do a little more searching. <laughs> we found this this is a decent sized field. We found it probably a little too soon, I think, but can't really turn it down. So we have enough room here for uh, three more plus the one on the pads and four more. Cool. inventory doesn't work. Darn it. Mm. All right, well, it's a good thing we're getting close to done here. <laughs> Alrighty. 
This is very strange. My uh, laser does not want to come on. even press the button to start it up. So I, I, yeah, I really think that, I think the belt is going to be the way to go for, uh, like, I, I can't imagine they're going to have as many wrecks lying around the stations as there are now in the PTU. I just think it's just, I think it's just really just too much, honestly. Um, I think they're just doing that to give, give us a chance to, to test out the, the new technology they've developed, you know. I mean, they may have a few, but I can't imagine it's going to be like what we see today in the PTU. And and really, like I said, you don't really want to be there because it's just... There we go. Because um, just too, you're going to be too easy pickings for griefers. I mean, unless you have a escort of some kind, but... I don't know. I find the belt much more... Uh, much more soothing. Try from this angle. I could kind of see this being better, better than cargo. I mean, at least in terms of you know your your uh, risk potential, because really there's I'm I spent whatever I spent on water and food basically to come out here and do this. It's not like when you run cargo and you, know, you have to spend 
700,000 credits of your own money on the really the, the good chance that you're going to have a 30k on the way back. And right now it looks like I'm running uh, almost an hour doing this. And that's from the minute I started out on, on uh, you know, when we were out on uh, uh, Loraville's uh, uh, spaceport. So that's not too bad. We'll be done here. Oops, come on. Come on. We'll be done here with one more. One more wreck. Yeah. Piece of a wreck. Yeah, I can only do two more containers. So, yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, I know I can probably do. I know I can do 130k running Titanium and Laronite from Ariel to Lorville. Um, but you know, yeah, I'd probably do both actually. So if I got tired of doing, you know, cargo runs, I'd come out and maybe I'd do this for a little while. And Especially with a Reclaimer. Man, that thing's insane. I've been running that too solo and that's just nuts. I mean, it just goes right through the stuff like butter. And you get to do it twice with two lasers. So, yeah. yeah it's, it's a huge ship. Jesus, big. So, yeah, I'll be doing a... I'll be doing a video on that next, probably. Uh, the only problem with the, the Reclaimer, and I'll mention it in that video too, is that it's just too expensive to buy in-game. It's like 15 million. It's like, to recoup that much doing this, nah. I mean, I'd probably recoup it faster running bounties, you know, or... Yeah, bounties, really. No, there's nothing left on this guy. Put over here. That's my only qualm with it. I mean, price-wise, I thought it was only 400 when I saw it on the pledge store. Okay, that is. I think that's going to be it for us. It's like 400 at the pledge store for the retainer. That's actually not bad, I think, for what it'll do. Like I said, you could, I can run it solo, and it, I think it makes a really fun uh, multi-crew ship. For, you know, people who want to do, uh, do salvage. Alright, yep, this is the last one. That was the last one. Nope. Yes, <laughs> well, I guess I already back up. Yeah. Okay. Down there. Getting a little tight. And then we need to eject out the last module, otherwise it won't be will not be seen by the TDD. So this is not technically the grid, and I noticed when I went to do the sale last time, it saw all of this, and then it saw this as a separate sale. So and it didn't see that one in there at all, which I didn't realize until we just started tonight. So that's it. That is a full load of vulture. And that's, um, I guess I think that was came out to be almost exactly 100k. I don't know. My math. Who knows? <laughs> Let's try inventory again. Yes. Okay, fine. Let's get a drink. So 
So yeah, I mean, obviously in, in okay, where's my drink? Oh, really? Ah, stupid PTU. I bet you I don't have a, and I don't have my helmet on. Not that it really matters, but pain in the rear end. All right, let's head back to, uh, head back to Lorville. Let's see how bad my math is. I could never have driven into that sun. That'd <laughs> be miserable. Uh. Quantum drive is now on. But yeah, that, that's basically my process for uh, scanning for salvage and quantanium. I set a course that I use as my as my marker to make sure I I'm only going straight in the same direction. I never look behind myself. I only set I set my scan degrees, their scan radius, I guess, 280. So I'm not looking behind myself, and um, I only look at items in front of me, and then I scooch forward. Like we didn't see anything in that first round, which would have been preferable, probably. But I would have moved forward. I would have I would have driven to her level four that I had set up as my north star, probably for about a minute. And then would have stopped again and would have done the whole process all over. You know, I would have set my scan raise to 180, scan, and then look at whatever's closest, um, and shrink my scan uh, radius down eventually down to 2% and scan. Now, because if you're if you're 11 kilometers or less, you can scan. Uh, Say so you knock it down to 2% and then scan it within 11 kilometers or less and that'll tell you what it is um it'll tell you if it's salvage and it'll tell you what or it'll tell you what kind of uh, uh what kind of rock it is if it's q type or e type or m type whatever and it's funny i found so much quantanium doing this today <laughs> and i'm looking for salvage and all i'm finding is like quantanium it's crazy Quantum drive is now off. All right, here we are. So now we're just going to head down to uh, Lorville. Quantum drive is now off. All right, now just head on over to the flying billboards. Yeah, we're right exactly at the hour. I mean, I'll cut some of this out because you guys don't need to see the see the uh, quantum runs. But yeah, it's not horrible. I think with the reclaimer, 
I think that will be that'll be um, I think you'll you'll make a lot more with the reclaimer than you will with the vulture. But we'll see. Let's see I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it next. Let's see what happens. The lasers on that on the vault on the uh, reclaimer there is so much more so much more powerful. Please proceed to assign landing bay. I mean they will just strip those little pieces we were playing with like in a minute. And you got two lasers to work with. <laughs> They're right next to each other, so you can kind of switch between the seats for the different lasers. It's pretty cool. Now let's try not to crash. Probably going in the wrong direction. I think I'm supposed to be going the other way, but I don't care. Same one we left. I hear the. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Hmm. Engines offline. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. I like this little ladder also for coming in and out of the vulture. Yeah, I, I think people can, uh, other people can access it. So it's kind of like a ladder on my Avenger Titan. You know, I, only I can get in. So, which is helpful because I don't like the ramp. I mean, ramps are nice, but I don't need somebody sneaking in. i to try and get a drink of water and some food. Hmm. Overall, though, the PTU's gotten much more stable in the last week or two. I guess since the beginning of the year. I don't think I could have played this long. I've now played for just over an hour. And I don't think I could have done that um, around New Year's. Like, you could get through like 20 minutes without 30k or... Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Or, I mean, like, I know I had a problem with the inventory, but believe me, I've had far worse problems. Although right now, they seem to have a problem with, uh... There's my cutter, that's good. Like, this should change to retrieve already, and it's like transferring to storage. <laughs> it's... 
which is not good because we're now going to go Please over to the TDD to sell our stuff. Sell our RCM. So I'm hoping it's stored by the time we get there. this way down to the central business district they actually don't have a TDD they have a central business district but that's okay I'll be very interested to see what it sells for in game too when it uh, becomes available I actually bought it um, at the, on the pledge store but uh, you know we'll see I mean, I'd say like you know two mil kind of like what the uh, Prospector goes for it. I think that would be reasonable. And you need to make back your credits pretty quickly with it. I mean, depending on how, how hard you're willing to to work, you know. There's, like I said, there's a lot of running back and forth in the ship, and then there's a fair amount of flying that you'd have to do. Because you actually have to, have to go to the TDD. Uh, I really wish they made it so you could go to, like, a, either a mining station or... Mining station would be awesome. And it's interesting, I thought I saw videos where they showed like reclaimers landing at mining stations. And I thought they were there to sell their RCM, but I don't know. Okay, so it's my. I usually pick this station because there's no glare, but I don't think we have glare on any of the stations now, do we? Alright. Thank you.